Thanks, Nicole. Well, big oil stocks up today with the broader stock market, but crude oil falling from a five-month high on speculation that tension between Ukraine and Russia won't actually disrupt supplies. But despite recent gains in oil, we have someone who is bearish on big oil. He says the well is running dry for major energy stocks, at least in the near term. Joining us now, Jeff Reeves, InvestorPlace.com editor. Jeff, wonderful to see you. We got supply and demand on energy and oil specifically. Uh, let's start with the demand side. The demand is dropping. I didn't realize how much until you sent your notes. D tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it shouldn't be much of a surprise to us here in the West that energy efficiency has really been in focus. Uh, but specific to big oil, uh, if you look at some of the other energy sources that we have, a lot of the fracking is for natural gas. It's, it's cheap, it's clean, uh, it's just it's preferable. And I think that it's telling to look at oil specifically because fuel oil has kind of been on the de decline as a heating source since the 1970s. Energy efficiency and uh, uh, MPGs in cars has gotten more efficient, and there's just less demand domestically. So while there is still demand in emerging markets, the drop that we're seeing in the West kind of results in, so, in not that much growth. And actually, there's forecasts that in 2014, the IMF just increased its forecasts for uh, demand worldwide. And it's up only 1% on bullishness. So Jeff, that should tell you everything you need to know. Jeff, so I want to pull up this oil consumption chart in the United States. We were just showing it while you were talking because I want to be clear on something. Oil consumption over the course of decades has steadily been rising. Okay, we're looking back to 1980. And we are well above where we were in 1980. But it's this recent dip in U.S oil consumption that has you concerned about everyday investors owning the big oil companies. Am I putting that correctly? Yeah, you are. And, and again, to the, to the next step, it's not just the consumption decline, but margins also have been really pinched because if you look at the oil that people are taking out of the ground right now, all, all the easy oil has pretty much been taken care of. If you look at the big project that Rosneft and Exxon are embarking in in the Arctic, uh, it's, it's really expensive to drill deep water in the Arctic to access oil. I mean, we saw that w with, with the Gulf of Mexico, even if you don't have disasters like the Deepwater Horizon, the risk uh, and the I intense operations that are required to bring that out of the ground are tar sands. There just aren't the margins there. So when you have this kind of uh, one-two punch of a, a, a drop in consumption and then the margins are also pinched too, uh, I, I said that I think Exxon is going away. I mean, it's a $420 yeah. billion dollar company. You know, it's got $42 billion bucks in the bank. It's not going away, but I think it's important to look at these secular trends that are seriously okay. weighing on the company. Well, Jeff, given all that you have described, it's, it's strange to me that you're bullish on oil drillers. Why? Or at least a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, if so, again, like I said, it's more expensive to take oil out of the ground, and, and people are, are they have to access by necessity these deep water finds. So rather than play an integrated oil company like Exxon, where you have to worry about all the refining and downstream and all that, I think that it's maybe not a bad idea to go for uh, deep water drilling companies like Sea Drill or Transocean that specifically focus on this area of the market. And more importantly, their dividends are huge. I mean, Exxon is really a dividend miser when you look at it, not just the yield, which is worse than ten year Treasury, but its payout rates are like twenty five percent annually of the of their total profits. So you can get big dividends from Sea Drill and Transocean. So the dividend, just to put a fine point on it, dividends of these companies, of Sea Drill and Transocean, are what, about double that of, of the big oil companies? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, if, if I recall correctly on today's pricing, it's 5 and 10% respectively for the dividend yields wow. on these companies. And, you know, it's kind of like a tobacco play. I don't think oil is going away, but I don't think there's a lot of growth there. I think there's stability, but not a lot of growth. So if you're going to invest in a company like this, you certainly want dividends that are coming from that. I mean, what's, what's the point of investing in a tobacco company with a 2.5% percent yield, right? And it, Jeff, it, uh, I think that to be sure here is the, is the global picture for oil, because while our demand might be waning the past couple of years or so because we've gone to alternative sources, uh, globally, the IEA, the International Energy Agency I'm seeing here, is boosting its 2014 global oil demand picture. Uh, Exxon and Chevron, may I remind everybody, is not, it's, they're U.S. based companies, but they operate globally and their margins largely come from outside of the United States and the demand that we see outside of this country. True, a fair point, uh, but it's also important to note that, like I said, the margins, I think, are being uh, pinched not just from deep water and tar sands, but also the geopolitical unrest in places like Russia and Ukraine, uh, not to mention sub-Saharan Africa makes it more expensive to get that oil out of the ground. Margins do get pinched, and I would also remind people that while China is energy hungry out there, they have a lot of alternatives. If they want to go dirty and cheap, they can go with coal, and there's a lot of efforts right now to get nuclear reactors into China because it's a cheap, accessible energy source. So don't necessarily confuse the emerging market's demand mm -hmm. for energy for emerging to markets demand uh, for oil. Okay. Gotcha. Transocean and Sea Drill. Remember those names, according to Jeffries. Jeff, thank you very much. Good Thanks, stuff. Thanks, Jeff.